Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, before we start, I would like to remind you to subscribe and turn on that notification bell and to uh, share some of my videos with your friends because uh, since I'm a small channel, uh, anything helps. But besides that, let's get started on five tips and tricks to starting your very own YouTube channel. Number one, appearance. Something that all channels need is good appearance, right? No one's going to be interested in a channel that has an uninviting banner, uh, lame thumbnails, or an unwelcoming icon. A website I highly recommend using for this is uh, Adobe Spark. It's a free web service that allows you to create things such as thumbnails and banners and has loads of things that you can use to customize them. I've used Adobe Spark for every one of my thumbnails and my banner. It's very useful. Number two, filming. Probably one of the most important things for a channel is its film quality. No one wants to watch a blurry 360 pixel video of someone, so it's important to use a good screen recorder. For Windows computers, a great underrated tool you can use to record is the Windows Game Bar, which can be found by pressing the Windows key and G at the same time. For Mac users, I recommend OBS as it is, it's free and it's very high quality. I've used it before and I've loved it. And uh, you can also use QuickTime if you don't feel like using uh, OBS. For mobile users, I recommend using the app Screencast as it records high quality video uh, while also having a microphone that allows you to speak over your videos, which is very important for your, uh, for your YouTube videos. Number three, editing. A mistake that can commonly be seen throughout beginning channels is a lack of editing. It's quite boring to sit there and watch a 40 minute long video that is completely unedited. Even simple things like cutting out certain parts and putting two clips together can greatly improve your video quality. What I recommend for editing videos is either iMovie on Apple devices or on Windows devices, Lightworks is a great free editing software to use. Number four, marketing. Now, I know that I'm a small channel. You probably wouldn't want to take advice for marketing strategies from me, but hear me out. A problem everyone faces when starting a channel is a source of viewers. You have your channel all nice and neat, your very first video uploaded, and no one to watch. It's tough during this phase, but I have some tips that I personally use for getting through it. First, what I would recommend is promoting to your primary games following. Whether it's going into games and promoting your channel, or going out to forums on the internet to promote it, you're always bound to find very kind and willing people to check out your channel. Secondly, I would recommend using social media. I personally have an Instagram account, <coughs> Carson Not Plays, <coughs> which I use to find people who I think would be interested in my content, and I follow them. Uh, I also begin by, uh, if they follow me back, I message them thank you for following because I want to appear nice and uh, welcoming. However, when doing this, uh, you of course have to be professional, right? No one wants an account nagging them constantly, so keep your conversation very brief and be polite if you're asking them for a follow. And most importantly of all, be appreciative to everyone who gives you their time. They don't have to be doing it, but they're taking time out of their day to do an act of kindness and check you out. So be nice back to them. Number five, professionalism. This one is last for a reason, because it's very important. Acting professionally will get you further than acting childish, of course. If you're impolite to your viewers or anyone who you are asking to check out your channel, it will be an instant turnoff. People will see you as rude and not have interest in supporting your channel. So, in the end, please just be nice and uh, act like a professional because if you're rude to anyone or you act childish, no one's going to be interested, right? So this has been five tips and tricks to starting your very own YouTube channel. I, uh, I sincerely hope you enjoyed and, uh, and that you'll take my tips to heart if you end up wanting to make your own channel. Uh, it's been a pleasure as always. Um, make sure to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends if they're interested in starting a channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.